Hello and welcome to this video where I will be showing you how you can use the pose tool to animate your characters. As you can see I've created these six bones here which kind of resembles uh, the legs of a character. And to start off with I'm just going to select all the bones here and set a key for the rotation since uh, the pose tool only works on rotation. And the way it works is you select the pose tool and then you drag a selection box over the bones that you want to be affected by it. Once you do that, a small divot will pop up here that you can then move around. So if I drag this around, you can see that both the lower leg and the upper leg of our character is moving. And I can just quickly drag a box uh, outside of the, the divot to drag a new box. And as you can see, we got uh, some um, movement here. I'm just going to quickly undo this and then go to a different frame, uh, select two bones here and this bone here and key them. As you can see, now we got some motion going on here. And the benefit of using the post tool as opposed to selecting each bone uh, manually and then rotating it is that you get the same amount of rotation going on in the bones when you use the post tool and, and currently if, if you notice the two bones that I have selected they bend the same amount. Uh, the post tool doesn't only work uh, with two bones you can create a longer chain, I'm just quickly going to do that so I'm going to select the root bone here create a far longer chain and then activate the pose tool, drag a box around it, and you can see it's now affecting the entire chain that I just created. And I can just drag the amount of bones that I actually want to affect by it. It doesn't need to be the tip of the chain. It can be anything in between, really. So you can quickly set up the poses for your uh, characters this way. So I hope this has uh, been helpful and stay tuned for more videos coming out shortly.